Diamondback Scout is the cheapest ship Lacon Spaceways produce. You'd be forgiven for thinking that its low price and tiny frame would make it a terrible choice for AX combat, but this ship has a top speed of over 580 meters per second. It has maneuvering capabilities that are almost on par with the dedicated AX ships the Chieftain and Challenger, and while it cannot mount as much armor for protection, it is a very small and very fast target. The hardpoint positioning allows for great convergence, though only too medium and too small means compromises have to be made. Flak will cost you one of those medium hardpoints. If you decide to run a thermal vent beam, you can get away with losing a small instead. The drawback of this ship is the power distributor. Its small class 3 power distributor can easily run out of juice if pips are not properly managed. This is especially important for the system capacitor, as even heat sink usage will run it dry during an attacking run, far faster than on the dedicated AX ships. Unlike the Asp Explorer, the DBS easily has the manoeuvring capability to take on an attacking run while evading a lightning attack from another interceptor. One minor flaw is that if you don't manage the pips correctly, the engine capacitor will let you down more often than the chieftains would when it comes to boosting after a target. As I'd suspected, the DBS excels at killing Cyclops. Its manoeuvring capabilities make it a joy to fly, but how will it fare against tougher targets? For the next engagement I would face a Medusa, 
and to fully test the ship's capabilities, I was going without flak. This would allow me greater firepower as I could mount an extra medium gauss cannon, but would require much more careful manoeuvring in order to avoid the swarm. It was during this fight that I found the orbiting rhythm for this ship, and after that point, the attacking runs became a lot cleaner. It was around this time that Will and I left the Pleiades to return to our position in the Witch Head Nebula. So far I was very impressed with the DBS, it was fast becoming my favourite ship, but as I'm sure you've guessed, there was still one target we needed to take on to truly know the capabilities of the Diamondback Explorer. Fortunately, where we call home, there are no shortage of Hydra. For the Hydra fight, I am firing all three Gauss cannons at the same time and firing double heat sinks to cover the extra heat. This will concentrate damage and make the attacking run shorter. The DBS can reliably cover the heat of three Gauss with double heat sink usage. I am out of heat sinks, 
so if I cannot get the heart in the next couple of shots, I'll have to break off and re-exert after refilling my heat sink launches. Following a refill and repair, I can get back on an attacking run. We did some damage to the heart on the last run, so it should go pretty easily once exerted this time round. take less damage to exert for each that is destroyed. The next six hearts will all fall more or less without incident. The DBS is handling the orbit manoeuvring exceptionally well, even with one pip reserved purely to recharge system capacitor for heat sink usage. It would however be the seventh part that would present the next challenge in this fight. Having been caught by lightning, I have lost my canopy. In a larger ship with more module reinforcements, this most likely could have been avoided, but I've taken on several Hydra with no canopy in the past, so this would not stop me from claiming my victory for the DBS.
final heart had fallen. This tiny ship, a mini chieftain, had only to finish off the remaining hull and it will have cemented its place as the best small ship for AX combat in my opinion. Just a few more shots to go. Well, as you can probably tell from the video you just saw, I've grown very fond of the Diamondback Scout. It handles very well, can carry enough firepower, and has a versatile number of utility slots. Not to mention, the cost and rebuy of this ship is so ridiculously cheap. You've got to keep an eye on the power distributor and be wary of lightning. Module protection is quite limited on this build, but if you are looking for a small ship for AX, this is the one.